Yo, what's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to another episode of Terrain Base. Um, today I'm, it's more of an experiment really, so if this goes a bit wrong, then at least you know what not to do. I want to try and recreate the effect of like piles of rubble on, you know, uh, terrain, square, whatever I'm using. You might remember my uh, building I kind of made out of the, uh, the the card and that and I just want to put try putting a bit of rubble on the um, the base. So what I've done, I collect corks from the wine bottles and whatnot. <laughs> Not that I'm a huge wine drinker, but I you know we collect them over time. So I've cut one up, um, as you can see here. Let's just go down and have a look at that. See, so this pile here, yeah. That's the cork, right there, all, all this here. And what I'm also going to do, with zoom out, I don't know if any of you collect your oh, bits of sprue, which I do, I'm just gonna cut up a few little kind of brick-sized bits of sprue, put that in, the, in with this lot, then I'm gonna put them into this, my old uh, plastic container I've got, and um, I'll show you what I'll do then. Okay, next stage. I've cut up a few bits of sprue in there. And you can see that there's just a few, not a lot. And I'm going to put a little bit of catnip in. Not too much, just a sprinkling. Just to give some alternate shapes to the rocks, rubble, and believe it or not I've run out of all my sand, I have a big bag of it now, I've just got this little pot of modelling sand anyway, so we're going to somehow open this, if I can, and we're going to pour that in, I'll just work out, I'll just work out how to open this without spilling it everywhere. Like so. All right. So we're just going to pour. Let's see better. Let's pour that in. Not going to use all that. Pot's gone now. Okay. Now what I'm going to use. I've got several of these uh, wooden sticks here. I'm just going to mix it up a bit. Like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some PVA into this. So just bear with me. Just going to pour a bit. Burn that much, I think. Like so. You can see that. There. I'm just going to mix it up. about the right consistency. Right, well, I think that's uh, pretty cool. Well, let's pop this back. Mix it up a little more. Make sure you get all the bits of sand off of the bottom of the base. I'll have to pick myself up some more sand up there. Okay, got it yeah, something like that, if you can see that there. Kind of like a, a bad porridge mixture. Okay. Right, then we're going to apply it to whatever you want to apply it to which in this case is this model here. Now, I'm just gonna put some along here. Doesn't matter how really how. Do it with a spoon or something. Bits of rubble. Let's 
chunk of rubble there. I'm a bit along here too. And a bit up here. And along the edges. And it doesn't matter how gloopy this is at the moment because when it dries you know it'll, it'll dry perfect I think we'll see how this goes when it dries because we've got the rubble a bit up there as well a bit of rubble. it's just like texture stuff right loads of rubble yeah get it in there and the rest can just places. I don't know how survivable the pots are after this. But we'll come back when this is dry. So I'll wait about 24 hours for this stuff. And then you guys can see for yourselves what you think. Bits of rubble all around there, so that's good. Right, I'm chucking that because I've got absolutely oodles of these. Now I'm going to let this uh, go off. I don't mind it's all running like that because it's just bits of rubble, um, plaster and sand and cement falling down the walls and that's fine. So that's what we'll do. So we'll come back when this is dry and I'll show you what you can do then. And here is what the finished result looks like, more or less, as you can see. Some areas still require drying, it's just taking a while. And I must say I'm pretty happy with the result. And this had sand on already, but as you can see, it's not a bad sandy texture. I do feel it needs more sand, but that isn't bad, because I am going to be painting over this uh, with some dry brushing and washes and probably pigments and I think it's going to come out alright actually but anyway that's how it turns out if you want to do something similar you know what to expect yeah I think cork works quite well bits of sprue looks like bits of brick which I am going to take the time and paint individually yes I probably am I'm, I'm a bit anal like that so but yeah so that's how it turned out. So hope that was beneficial to you. Join me again on another terrain based. But till then, all brushes lead to war. Bye for now.